Final little walk around before the sun goes down. This is a solid angle of it. Oh yeah. Chickens. Come here, dude. Come here. Come here. Come here. This is, this is gonna be good. Today's gonna be good. Got Bob back there with his mask on. We are in the lair right now in AC. I'm gonna head back to the OG HQ and we have some sweet, sweet, sweet things. I've been waiting for this kind of for a while, not for a while, but trying to find the right company to see what I like the most and I think I found the company that I do like the most. Just to keep it real, I've been very slow on deciding what I wanna do because they're so similar, it's such a similar part. And I didn't know if I wanted to go the custom route or whatnot. Got a nice little ornament back there. Uh, it's actually a black powder muzzle loader, 50 cal. I think it's a night. Anyway, before we get into that, I'm gonna shoot home, shoot back there, do all that fun stuff. I'm gonna pause that. That was a little annoying. Real quick, before we go film all this stuff, hope everyone's enjoying their little quarantine uh, time. In AC right now. I'll show you real quick if you're new. If you haven't seen this place. We're gonna do a full tour of everything soon. Yeah, man. It's sick. It's a nice day out, too. You can check a few videos back. We did a little closing video, settlement video of all this stuff. And uh, yeah, you guys probably just wanna hear about the Corvette stuff. But right now, if you're not new to the channel, there's a little red rectangular subscribe button down there. Just tap it, click it. It's gonna keep you informed, notified whenever we post more content. That's just more advantageous for you. And also in the description is Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff. Yeah. I don't know what else to say other than let's just go get this going. I'm so excited to unbox these products. I've been waiting for them for a while. I've been waiting to make a move on them for a while. And we did it. Finally buckled down, hunkered down, did it, and decided on what company, what products, which ones, because I'll, I'll explain all of this very soon in detail. Just give me uh, one minute to go down, start the car, and head out. Shit, there she is. There's everything else. I have these down here for right now, in the time being, and bang. Today is definitely a roof off kind of day, just considering it's like one of the first days. It's sunny and like 70 degrees out. Peachy little cold start for y'all, and we will be on our way. <laughs> Also, while I let this warm up, no, my phone's not going in there. Uh, a lot of you have been requesting C8 content. Where's the C8, where's all that stuff? I'm not getting a base model C8, just to throw that out there and kill any type of uh, confusion that previous Instagram posts may have been. I did film previous collection videos for the owner of Kerbeck, and uh, pre, pre-Rona era, considering we are in current, present Corona era, uh, I, I do have some content filmed with uh, Hoff, if you remember him from a previous video, the collection video at Kerbeck. We have, I think one, maybe two, I don't know, more videos of CH stuff that's coming soon. This video is actually filmed on Easter. I just wanted to bang this out because I'm, I'm impatient. It's a problem. Definitely gotta uh, grow the, grow the f up. In all seriousness, I, I really, I mean, can you blame me? Would you not be hyped to, uh, to get this, this stuff on? All right, mate, we have just arrived. We're actually next door to the HQ, but uh, I'm still trying to debate whether or not we're gonna work on it here on the gravel or actually go out yonder over to the other property. But here's what we have. What we're working with at first was the stage one, the base plastic black primed plastic splitter, uh, front splitter, which has pretty decent clearance. I mean, the, the car, I actually need to go into another video and, and adjust this stuff, because I got like, look at that. It's like a monster truck. A lot of space there, and, and on the back, and it's not even it's not even level all the way around. It's not equal. It's like slightly off on every wheel. So I'll make a video adjusting all that stuff. But first, the meat and potatoes of this video, I'm putting, Another splitter on. Wow, this thing got kind of chewed up, actually. I might have some issues with the <laughs> with with the new piece of uh, equipment, but we'll see. I actually didn't have all the bolts in here either. Seems like that is 
a potential hazard as well. I don't know why I was missing one of the bolts. Time to unbox the new stuff. All right, many, many of you know I have a reputation to uphold, and that is me being brutally transparently honest. I did just actually go work out. I have a little outdoor workout area back here at the, the headquarters. We have everything right here. As you can see, I got it upside down, but you've got EOS Extreme online store. Now we got two packages. Like I said, I'm gonna be honest with y'all, I did just open these up. I did look at them, I couldn't resist. Just can, can you can you blame me? Can you really blame me? It's, it's like Christmas today, it's just Easter. And I, I do wanna thank EOS for having some of the quickest shipping in the world. Uh, when I went first from, from desire to inspiration, to execution, to its shipping and being delivered. Uh, it was pretty quick. Uh, I forget exactly how quick, but less than a week, less than a couple days. And they're all the way in California and we're on the East Coast. So that's good to know. This right here, I'm just gonna do an opening of, an unboxing, which is the center wicker bill. I have the winglets on the way, the stage three winglets. You also have these little grommets right here, these rubber washers, whatever you wanna call them, what have you. And there's, I think, until I gotta open it up, some hardware in here. We're gonna do an unboxing uh, officially on this in maybe the next video. Once the wicker bills do get here, I wanna do that all in one clean swoop of, uh, of a video. So, I'm gonna put this away to the side. And obviously, this, what we have here, you can tell it's the same size as the front end of this car. That is the front splitter. So, let's dig into it. Pretty sure I'm gonna do this from here if I can if it's inconvenient, which it shouldn't be. There's just some bolts. If I'm gonna pop rivet it, which I may, or I may just use 3M tape, uh, there's enough screws. I think tape and screws will do the job. For this, just the screws have worked really well, except for the one area where we were missing a screw. Some of you will probably haze me, some of you will probably call me an idiot. It's pretty obvious that downforce and, and the pressurization, the force against the car when you're driving into toward air, because I, I don't know how else there would be a different scenario than that when you're driving, there's pressing against you down for us. Very scientific stuff here, Matt. Yeah, I know, quantum physics, quantum mechanics, but do we have we have good lighting here? We also got the Mercedes back there. Check that thing out. It's been a minute since you guys have seen that. That thing's doing well, just chilling, just hanging out. We drive it every now and then. And then we've got that back there. I'll get into that in another video. Unboxing time. So um, I'm gonna try and figure this out one-handed. I think I can just, this is all wrapped up. The packaging's real good in here. You also have the little winglets down there for the side part of the splitter. Oh yeah, you can just pull this out right yonder. Bam! Look at what we have. Beauty. Verification inside the box. No crazy spiders, tarantulas, nothing wild like that. EOS would never do some stuff like that. Some lovely lads right there. And uh, yeah, here's little winglets. These aren't the wicker bills, like the stage three wicker bills. I don't really like them. And the reason why I say that, for those of you that might think it looks really cool, I do, I agree, they look really cool. The only problem is these sit like this, whereas the others have this and kind of make like an L shape, in a sense. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you, you can look it up. You should know if you're interested in C7 stuff, because it's not like this is really new, necessarily. Um, yeah, rocks get stuck there. Rocks get stuck in this car like everywhere anyway. Like as you can see, even right here. Look, there's rocks. I just blew rocks out of that. There's rocks get stuck everywhere in this car. I bet you if I did a little search around here, yeah, see there's even a rock back there, but there's rocks, rocks all over the place. Yeah, let's unwrap this bad boy. Oh yeah, there's also hardware and double-sided tape too. Wow, okay, yep. So I'm probably not gonna be pop riveting anything because there's double-sided tape and the screws, and who knows, we might down the line get carbon, but we'll see. So you've got your rivets right here. These look kind of like little rapiers, little swords, and uh, it's connected. Everything is. Thing is put together like a banana, quite literally. Oh, yeah. and guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We've got some carbon flash to match all the other carbon flash that's on the car. Like I said, who knows? Down the line, I might go straight to carbon. Right now, we're gonna do carbon flash just to get the 
fundamentals mount this. It's been a while. I haven't done this. Like I said, I've been taking way too long to uh, order this stuff. When I tell you getting a package wrapped up and cared for like this from EOS is like Christmas, I guarantee you it is like Christmas. If there was ever a time for me to tell you to like this video or whatever, it's, it's right now because I could be easily just taking this off, but instead I'm doing it with one hand like a total nut job just to get the video for you guys. So, have some mercy for me. And bam, there we go. Carbon flash, front splitter, action. Look how much wider that is than the regular one. Now most of that is gonna get tucked under, mainly just this stuff, this raised stuff. Trash everywhere, I'm gonna clean this trash up and uh, see if it's possible to get this on without that. I might, I might have to raise that up, we'll see. One thing I can do, is get a little unboxy chiboha going on this stuff right in front of you with both of my hands. They put some serious tape on this stuff. I should just use a knife, but let's try to get my grip strength up, you know? Guess it's not really working. It's okay, still slide these out. Ready for this? And we have a winglet. And now if I was a betting man, which I am, I would say that there's six of these and two of these with three holes, which makes six total. I would imagine these are for the winglets to bolt into the side. It's really satisfying just pulling this stuff off. Just did an unboxing video on a new MacBook I got. You guys will see that soon. Satisfying stuff. I like these. I like these. I like these a lot. EOS has their own little logo there too. And just so you don't think I'm completely insane, if you've never looked at these before, there's bolts here where they screw right in it as well. Yeah. Enjoy. Just a little comparison. Yeah, I think that's a noticeable <laughs> difference. Like that, larger than my hand. This, smaller than my palm. Just the, the fatness, the girth, the thickness with two C's. Just look at that. Look at it. The front, I love that styling. That's uh, very OEM inspired stuff. A lot of this is very OEM inspired. I, I like that it looks OEM plus, you know what I mean? I've never been a huge fan of when companies have like some crazy looking stuff like underglow and all this other wild stuff. Good dude, be unique to yourself. Do whatever you want. Everyone's car is their own, I don't know, expression of their self, but I just like when stuff looks clean. And this right here, my friends, this is clean. Very clean. And damn, that looks good. It really does. I can't wait to get it on the car. Let's wipe it down, get that done right now. La, 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 la.